We've all heard of DLSS before when we watch reviews of games, PCs, or GPUs, but what does it do exactly? And how does it double frame rates like it's magic? Let's find out. So what does DLSS even mean? It means deep learning super sampling. To easily understand what it does, it essentially renders your game at a lower image to take some load off on your GPU. Then it uses AI that instantly upscales every frame of your game back to a high resolution. Not only that, it makes the game as smooth as the gameplay in your dreams. Now, that might sound like something you can only find in Hogwarts, but it's a reality, but here's the surprise. It's so much better than that today. Before we talk more about that, let's get you up to speed first and talk about every DLSS version starting with DLSS 1.0. It's the first iteration of NVIDIA's ambitious plan to revolutionize gaming graphics. And as we mentioned, it renders frames at a lower resolution and brings it back up using AI. It was a game changer. But like with any first gen tech, it was a diamond in the rough since it only works well on games that it's trained for. It was promising, but it doesn't work that well to make it useful in actual use. Then came DLSS 2.0, the sequel that outshone its predecessor. NVIDIA reworked the algorithm from scratch, and this version was all about flexibility and refinement. The best part about it is that it works on any game. No more training for each game. And DLSS 2 was finally a one-size-fits-all AI model, learning from a diverse set of high-res images to upscale games more accurately. But NVIDIA didn't stop there. They introduced DLSS 2.1, which brought in support for upscaling up to 8K and much better upscaling quality. And just when we thought it couldn't get better, DLSS 3.0 arrived, flexing even more AI muscle. It didn't just upscale images, it started generating whole new frames with AI. The result? Well, usually you have to pick what to prioritize between image quality, resolution, or frame rates. But with DLSS 3.0, you can now get a high resolution, high image quality, and high frame rates without much of a compromise. So how does it all work now at DLSS 3.5? Well, it's not just about more frames and simply upscaling. It's a symphony of AI processes. We've got super resolution delivering crisp images. Deep learning and anti-aliasing smooths out everything that's jagged and imperfect. Frame generation conjures extra frames out of thin air. And finally, ray reconstruction improves ray tracing significantly bringing light and reflections to life. And just look at this and see the significant improvements between all DLSS versions so far. And here's a fun thing to know. With DLSS 3.5, the GPU only renders one out of eight pixels that come up on screen, while DLSS predicts, generates, and upscales the rest of the image, which is seven out of eight pixels. Simply put, 87% of all images are generated by DLSS. It's almost like magic. Of course, it still has its flaws, especially since it can be wrong at predicting details, especially when it comes to the tiniest ones. But if you're playing a single-player RPG where high resolutions matter, or a competitive FPS game where great frame rates matter, you have nothing to lose, but everything to gain. And there you have it. That is the history of DLSS and how it works. It's exciting to see what the NVIDIA wizards are up to next. I think DLSS is one of the best things that happened to the gaming world in recent years, and I think it'll improve much more in the future. Do you agree? Comment your thoughts down below, and hit that subscribe button as smoothly as your game runs with DLSS on. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.